brothers and sisters in Christ. So we thank our Lord and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, for giving this wonderful opportunity mm. to come and uh, share some uh, wonderful words of life. So today, uh, we're going to see uh, about the 1,44,000. We all know very well that the little flock uh, number is uh, 1,44,000. And uh, it has been uh, selected uh, from uh, all over the world. And uh, that is mentioned in uh, Revelation 14.3 and Revelation 7.4. But uh, here uh, in Revelation 7 chapter, uh, if you read in uh, verse 4, it tells that the 1,44,000 were selected from a particular place. Uh, let us read that verse. Uh, okay, 144,000. Okay, so 144,000 it is mentioned in Revelation 7 4. Can somebody read Revelation 7 4? Is it possible? Yes, brother. Hmm. Yes, Revelation 7 4. Yeah, yeah. and I heard the number of those who were shielded. 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were shielded. Very good. So, here it is mentioned that 144,000 were sealed, were selected from all the tribes of Israel. Now, if uh, this is very clearly mentioned that uh, it is uh, selected from the tribe of Israel, then uh, how can we claim that uh, we are part of that 144,000? So, how do we you see, prove. See, today's manna says, prove all things and hold fast uh, to that which is good. So, it is our duty to check, cross-check, double, and to prove and to hold on to which uh, that is uh, correct. Now, how do we check it? See, the same verse is mentioned in Revelation 14.3, but in a different way. Let us read that one also. Kindly read Revelation 14.3. Yes, brother. Mm. Revelation 14.3 okay. They sung as it's, at it were a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders, and no one would learn the song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. Very good. So here it doesn't mean about, mention about Israel. Correct, no? It tells that they were redeemed from you see, all the earth. You see, that means, uh, why uh, in Revelation 7 chapter is mentioned as 12 tribes of Israel? Why, what happened? You see, now, about Israel, you see, actually it is the name of uh, Jacob, who was actually the father of uh, nation of Israel, and his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. On his deathbed, he called his twelve sons and blessed them and made them as a tribe. Now, who can tell me what is the name of Jacob's uh, first son? Any idea? Any guess? Ruben. Very Ruben. good, sister. Very good. Excellent. Correct, sister. Correct. Janet's sister. Correct, no? Sister Janet was the one who replied. Correct? Yes. Oh, very good, sir. Good. Then you are attentive and reading the Bible. Good. Okay. Now, read Revelation 7, 4. Uh, one minute, sir. One minute. Uh, Revelation, one minute. Mm. Good. Revelation 7, chapter. Verse 5, sister. Huh. Revelation 7, verse 5. Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed, and of the tribe wait, wait, of wait, Reuben, 12,000 were wait, sealed. Wait, 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 wait. Now let us hold on. Which is the first tribe that is mentioned here? Tribe of Judah. Why? Actually, Reuben was the elder son. He was the eldest one. His name should come first. But instead of that one, here if you see, whose name is mentioned? Judah. So, there must be something in this Revelation 7 chapter. What is that one? 
You see, after Judah, which is the tribe that comes sister? Revelation 7. Tribes of Ruben. Which is, ah, very good, sister. See, after tribe of Judah, you see, the tribe of Reuben is mentioned. Why it is not mentioned in the first part? You see, so there is something. And what is that one? If you see, you see, in the book of Revelation, you see, if you see even the names of the 12 tribes, you see, one of the son of, uh, you see, uh, Jacob, you see, uh, like, uh, you see, something, some names are missing. You see, if you cross check it with Genesis 49 chapter, you can later on do it when you are free in the home. You see, and Revelation 7 chapter, in Genesis 49 chapter, Jacob's son Dan, the tribe of Dan comes there. But here in Revelation, uh, you see, if you see, uh, Dan doesn't come here. The tribe of Dan doesn't even come at all. You see, and uh, in Genesis uh, 49 chapter, you see, Joseph's son Manasseh doesn't come here. Okay, but here in Revelation 7 chapter, you see, Manasseh is there. You see, uh, Joseph is also there. But how can this be? You see, again, uh, there is one more list uh, uh, of the tribes uh, is given in Numbers 2nd uh, chapter. In Numbers 2nd chapter, uh, Joseph is not mentioned, but Dan is mentioned. The tribe of Levi is not mentioned in number second chapter, but Ephraim is mentioned. So, why this uh, differences are, you see, we will just study today. Okay. See, if you see in the Bible, Bible actually, you see, speaks about two types of Israel. Okay. Now, uh, let us read Romans 9 chapter. Verses 6 to 8. Who is a Jew? Who is a real Israel? What does the Bible say? Huh? Romans 9 chapter, verses 6 to 8. Uh, verse by verse, we'll go, sister. Romans 9, chapter 6 to 8. Yes, brother. Romans 9, 6 to 8. Verse 6. Ah. But it is not that the word of God has taken no effect. For they are not all Israel who are of Israel. Wait. No, are they all children. Did you observe something? David, did you observe yes. something? It says, not all who were born in Israel are Israeli Sims. Correct, now, sister? Read yes, again. Exactly. But it is Angel not the word of the yes. Mm -hmm. But it mm -hmm. is not the word of God has taken no effect, for they are not all Israel who are of Israel. Ah, they are not all Israel who are of Israel. How is this possible? If you are uh, born in uh, Solomon Island, naturally you are the citizens of Solomon Island. You can't tell that, oh, you are born in Solomon Island, so you are not citizen. We can't tell that one. See, that citizenship naturally comes. But here it says, you see, huh? for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Now, what does it mean? This clearly tells that from God's standpoint, just because you're born in Israel, just because you come under the genealogy of Abraham, you don't become the natural heirs of Abraham. That means uh, there is a condition for a person to become a real Israel. Continue, sister. Now continue. Huh? Yes, first seven. Now are they all children become because they are the seed of Abraham? But in Isaac your seed shall be called. Ah, that is in Isaac those who your are, seed shall very good. In Isaac your seed shall be called uh, neither because they are the seed of Abraham, they are called of uh, 
you see children of abraham just because they're born in abraham's family the bible says you can't become the children of abraham that means to become the children of abraham there is a criteria now what is that criteria just because you you born in the blood uh, in the same family that is not the criteria but actually in the world that is the criteria if you have blood relatives in israel we become natural israel but here in the bible it says no it's not like that uh, there is no blood relation required to be the children of abraham what is required okay so let me ask a question uh abraham was famous for what faith very good sir faith yes he was called as god's friend you remember in the book of james it says abraham was called the friend of god read james second chapter Hmm. 23 sister James 2 23 James 2 verse 23 mm. James 2 uh, 23 and the scripture was fulfilled which says Abraham believed God and it was according to him for righteousness and uh-huh. he was called the friend of God you see he was called the friend of God now if Abraham is famous uh, for faith and uh, don't you think that uh, his children should be having the same faith as abraham isn't it they should be having but uh, did the people of israel share the same faith as abraham no where do we read that one read matthew 3 7 what does uh, john the baptist call the people of israel Matthew 3:7 Yes brother Matthew 3:7 But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism he said to them brood of fibers mm-hmm. who warn you to flee from the wrath to come mm. He called them brood of vipers What do you mean by brood of vipers generation of vipers serpent uh huh now why does john the baptist compare uh, the people of israel especially the pharisees and sadducees to the serpent now who actually do we compare as serpent in the bible who is compared to a serpent in the bible satan very good sir excellent very good excellent okay now why did uh, that's what the uh, jesus also said uh, you are of your father the devil you see why did uh, they address them like this that means uh, there must be some difference you see between abraham and the devil correct no huh? you might wonder what brother some difference or uh, some similarity uh? let us see james 2 19 James 2:19 James 2:19 you believe that there is one god you do well even the demons believe and tremble aha uh-huh. you James believe one. good correct devils believe in god and tremble that is the character of a devil so devils have a belief in one god not trinity god <laughs> you see you read the verse satan has this is the whole word to be trinity but he himself doesn't believe that one he believes in god and trembles 
but uh, does it mean that uh, a satan is uh, more reverential towards god you see he does he have that uh, works according to his faith no read one verse before verse 19 bro James two nineteen. Oh, sorry, eighteen. James two eighteen. Yes, brother. James two eighteen. But someone will say, "If I have faith, and I have works, show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith." by my works yes you see that is when james compares uh, you see the devil he is also having faith but no it's not accompanied by works at all but abraham was not like that he had faith and it was in action therefore there is lot of uh, difference uh, between the natural israel who were born to abraham in blood you see that doesn't make them israel at all therefore john the baptist clearly said you are brood of vipers then then what really takes to be the child of abraham you see faith the so faith in works read galatians 3 7 brother Galatians third chapter seventh verse. Yes, brother. Galatians three seven. Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. Very good, sir. Only those who have faith. Remember what John the Baptist said: If God wants. God can raise the sons of Abraham from these stones. You see, so those who have faith, though it may be Gentiles, they will be considered as the seed of Abraham. This verse clearly says, those who are of faith, they are the Abraham's seed. In that same chapter, last few verses, it says, if we are in Christ, then we are Abraham's seed. then hires according to the promise so the natural israel didn't have faith on christ and god's promises since though they were naturally born in israel they were never considered as abraham seed they were never considered as israel therefore in bible there are actually two types of israel one is a natural israel that is what is called as the nation of israel today but other is a spiritual israel we you see we are not born in israel we don't have any relationship with the uh, blood relationship with israel but yet uh, god considers as as uh, israel indeed read um first peter 25 first peter 25 Yes, brother. Verse Peter two five. One Peter two verse five. Yeah. Verse five say, "You also, as living stones, are being built up, a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifice, acceptable to God through Jesus Christ." You see, spiritual house. You see, this is the spiritual Israel. You see, the royal priesthood. You see, this is about a spiritual Israel. Now, where does the Bible speak about fleshly Israel? Read First Corinthians ten, chapter verse eighteen. 
फर्स्ट कॉरिथियंस टेन एटीन First Corinthians 10 verse 18 mm. Observe Israel after the flesh and not mm-hmm. those who eat of the sacrifice uh-huh. but takers of the altar Very good the Israel after the flesh are they not who eat the flesh offered uh, as a sacrifice the Israel after flesh uh, that is fleshly Israel the bread they ate of the natural uh, you see literal uh, sacrifice that was uh, offered on the altar but we are spiritual israel you see therefore there are two types of israel in the bible you see what did god promised abraham he took a oath upon himself and remember he said i'll make your seed as the stars of the sky and sand of the sea shore two types of blessings earthly and heavenly blessings the first opportunity to be of a and then 44000 144000 was given to whom you see the people of israel 144000 the first opportunity was given to the nation of israel then as the sufficient number was not found god turned to the gentiles let us read acts 1346 Acts 13.46 Yes, brother. Acts 13.46 mm. Then Paul Then Paul and Barnabas grew bold, bold and said, It is necessary that the word of God should be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life, behold, we turn to the Gentiles. Very good. You see, first opportunity was given to the nation of Israel. But hence they were found unworthy. God turned to the Gentiles. So that is... first spiritual you see spiritual no first fleshly israel then spiritual israel therefore who is a real jew what does the bible say you see let us read what apostle paul tells in romans second chapter 28 and 29 romans 2 28 and 29 Yes, brother. Mm. Romans 2, 28 and 29. Mm. 28. For he is not a Jew who is mm. one outwardly. Mm. No, he is seeking a season that which is outward in the flesh. Uh-huh. Verse so, 10, yeah, circumcision in the flesh doesn't make uh, you a Israel. The circumcision of heart is very important. Yes. that was not there with the natural israel so with the spiritual israel the literal circumcision is not at all required but the circumcision from the heart uh, is very much required therefore you see two types of israel and one more thing there are a lot of similarities between the natural israel and fleshly israel like for example natural israel the father of natural israel was jacob he had 12 sons correct Now, who is the father of a spiritual Israel? Who is the head? Who is the head of spiritual Israel? Who is the head of the church? Christ. Very good, sister. Jesus Christ. You see, how many apostles does he have? It's only 12 apostles. 
Very good. You see, you saw the similarities. Twelve sons of Jacob, twelve apostles of, uh, you see, you see, Jesus. Now, we see Jesus is the head of the church. In Revelation 7 chapter, which is the first type that is mentioned there? Revelation 7, 5, which is the first type we read? Just open your Bible and check. Revelation 7, 5, which is the first type that came Judah. there? Ah, very good. Judah. Why Judah? Yeah. Why Judah? Who came from the tribe of Judah? Jesus. Jesus came from the tribe very of Judah. Very good. Now, who is the head of the church? Jesus. So, right. the head of 144,000 is Jesus. So, he should be first. No. If he's not first, then how can the rest of the people join? Hence, the tribe of Judah is mentioned first, not, uh, you see, Israel's first son, Reuben. This itself is a clear proof that Revelation 7 chapter is speaking about spiritual Israel. Okay. Brother, this is all okay. Brother, why names are given? Correct, no? At least the name should not be given, no? Uh, if they simply mention uh, 12 tribes, uh, uh, one uh, each tribe, 12,000, that's okay. But why names are given? Now, what uh, does the Bible speak about names and its significance? You see, in olden days, the names were just not given casually like that. They had a lot of meaning. You see, it was based upon somebody's character that the name was given. Like, for example, uh, what did God tell Mary to call you see, God's son as God's son was born. You see, and what did the angels come and tell to Mary? What should be the name of the child? What What was the name given to the child, Jesus? Emmanuel. Very good, sister. What do you mean by Emmanuel? What is the meaning of the word Emmanuel? God is with us. Yes, God is with us. You see, God is with us. That is the meaning. Through Jesus, God was with us. There's other name that was given to him also. What is the other name? That is the name we, every time we call him. What is the other name? Every time we use that Jesus. one. Very good, sir. Very good. Simple. See? Jesus. We should never fear to answer. Though it may be wrong, we can learn. You see? Very good. Jesus. Now, what is the meaning of word Jesus? Savior. Savior okay? of all. Yes, sister. Savior. You see, therefore, see, the word Jesus has got a meaning. You see? What is the meaning of word Christ? Christ means anointed. Each and every word, each and every name in the Bible has got a meaning. Now, you see, think it over. Abraham had a son named as Isaac at what age? What age was Isaac born to Abraham? 100 years. Correct now? Sarah was 90 years. Do you think that time a child will be born to any... You see, man and woman, not at all possible. The Bible says that the womb was totally dead. It's given in the Bible, Romans 4th chapter. Okay. Now, why did they name the child as Isaac? What is the meaning of word Isaac? Any guess? You see? Any guess, brother? Tell me. Good. Love. 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 Very good. Excellent. Correct, brother. Laughter, yes. You are absolutely right. Now, why did I may call his son as laughter? Will you name your child as laughter? Huh? <laughs> we won't call our son, hey, laughter, come here. <laughs> yeah, we will, will we call them? Oh, Mr. Smile, come here. Will we tell them? No. Now, why did he call his son as laughter? See, it's given in the Bible. Uh, Genesis. Yeah. When when uh, Sarah Genesis, Genesis twenty one six sister Genesis twenty one six
Genesis 21 6 and Sarah said God has made me laugh and all who hear will laugh with me you see all who hear will laugh with me now what do you mean by that uh, all who hear will laugh imagine if you go and tell you see a very old lady you see who is 90 years uh, who didn't have any child at all if you go and tell uh, that uh, very old lady uh, grandma you see uh, don't worry you're going to have a child uh, uh, tomorrow uh, what will she do you see she will laugh because she was barren you see if somebody tells her she's going to have a bigoted child they will laugh uh, this is what happened to sara you see she was barren everybody you see uh, heard uh, that uh, she was giving birth to a son called uh, you see then everybody were laughing oh you 90 years she gave birth to son that is the reason isaac was given okay now what was the name of the first creation of god what was the name and i mean on the on the earth on earth god created human beings no so what was the name which god gave to them <clears throat> tell me adam oh very good let us see in the bible what does the bible say genesis 5 verse 2 what about eve Okay, read this first, let, then let us see. Yes, brother. Genesis 5 and 2. Mm. 5 is 2. Mm. He created them male and female, and blessed them and called them mankind in the day they were created. So, what was the name given, sister? Mankind. Adam is mentioned? Yeah, no, male and female. <laughs> so, what was the name given? It was called as mankind. So, no name were given. You see? Huh? Actually, that word Adam, you saw, you see? That's from the Hebrew word, you see? Uh, Adam. You see, that word actually means uh, something similar to a very old ancient uh, Hebrew language. That, that word actually we use in India. Admi. You see, that means uh, human beings. See, this verse tells for both Adam and Eve, God gave only one name. Correct, no? Did you observe? Read that verse again, brother. Read that verse again, verse 2. He created them, male and female, and blessed them and called them mankind called them in the day called him in. so called them as mankind so both were having a common name okay now who gave the name as eve when was eve called as eve see initially they had one name mankind only they had no names at all now why when was the name changed to eve See, before marriage, brother would be calling you in a different name. But after marriage, brother uh, has given in you any pet name? Huh? You see? <laughs> okay, don't worry. No problem. Let us see in the Bible. Huh? Adam gave a very beautiful pet name to Eve. <laughs> Let us read Genesis 7. Genesis 7, verse 20. Less of much less. <laughs> Genesis 3 20 brother. Genesis 3 20. Yes, brother. Genesis 3 20. And Adam called his wife name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. 
good adam was the one who gave he was he when did he give the name <laughs> when did he give the name the mother mother <laughs> oh, sorry adam 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 give <laughs> when when before sin or after sin Uh, before sin. Before sin. Oh, before sin. This is before sin or after committing sin? This is before after. eating fruit? After. 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 Ah, you yes. see, Adam would have observed you. You see, because of her, <laughs> he fell into the pit. <laughs> he committed sin. he could not leave her he told ayyo you are the mother of all living this is the only good name for you that matches you properly eve <laughs> you see today also you know uh, many husbands call their wife as a pet names uh, for my wife uh, i give each and every one of the good one a new name you see <laughs> so similarly uh, adam has given this name not god <laughs> okay <laughs> now What about animals? Who named all the animals? Genesis two, Adam. Mm-hmm. Very good, brother. Adam. How did he name? Let us read uh, Genesis two, um, verse nine, verse nineteen. Uh, mm. Yes, brother. Genesis two, verse nineteen. Out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast on the field and every bed of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them and whatever Adam called each living creatures that was each name aha uh-huh. so Is Adam it? give uh, Adam give names so very good stuff how did he give see it's clearly mentioned there you see brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them brought them to adam is what god made them to stand in a queue oh you see everybody uh, and uh, give them names no brought them before adam me all the animals uh, you see god would have made to move around adam adam would have observed each and every animals behavior based on that one only he has given the names you see So names has got a meaning in the Bible. Similarly, in Revelation seven chapter, when the twelve tribes are mentioned with the names, each and every tribe has got a meaning, a character meaning. Okay. Now, what is the name of uh, you see each and every tribe and its character? We are going to see next month. Okay. So that that one I'll take it in a different part in next month. But now to let us see a little bit of similarities. See, as twelve tribes, twelve sons of Jacob, each and everybody had a character. Similarly, among the apostles, if you see twelve apostles, each and everybody had a character. Like for example, among the apostles, which is the apostle who had lot of doubt? Which is the apostle who had lot of doubt? Thomas. Very good. And she is called as the doubting Thomas. Very good. Now, among the apostles. You see, three of the apostles were very close to Jesus. Who are they? Peter, James, John. Very good, brother. Very good, excellent, correct. Now, among them, two of the apostles were given a special name. What was the name given to them? Two of the apostles. They were brothers, actually. Ah, uh, correct, correct. Uh, tell me, brother. Philip. Huh? Philip. Philip. Ah, uh, thinks. No, they were actually brothers. Two Philip of the brothers from the same mother. Philip and Simon. Ah uh-huh. ha! They were called. I'll give you the clue. Huh? Now you just now tell the told three apostles were close. James, John, and Peter. Among these three, two persons were given a particular name. Pass. Okay, it was James and John. They were called as sons of thunder. You see, so 
all these things has got significance. Say an apostle Peter, compared to all the apostles, how was apostle Peter? He was very fast and very spontaneous. You see, when Jesus told to take a knife, he told, Sir, Lord, I am having already the knife. Is this sufficient? Yes, sufficient. When uh, somebody came to arrest uh, our Lord, what did Peter do? He did not even ask our master. He just took the knife and this is smote his uh, here. Actually, was a, he smote for the neck. Uh, it missed and it just uh, chopped off his ears. Uh. See, that was the spontaneous reaction of Peter. When Jesus told, uh, I am going to die, he told, No, Lord, you should never die. In. This thing should never happen to you. So, he was very quick uh, in reacting. Therefore, each and every apostle had a particular character. Not all the apostles were the same. Similarly, among the 144,000, 12 divisions are made. Why 12 divisions? Because in a year, 12 months are there. And any person born in this world should be born in one of the month. A person born in October would be having a particular character, highlighting character. A person born in March, he would be having a particular character. A person born in April, he would be having a particular character. You see, so based upon the characters, you see, dear brethren, 12 divisions of 144,000 are made. Why? Because when Christ's kingdom is going to be established visibly on this earth, you see, all the dead people are going to come back to life. They will be of all different characters. 12 types of characters people will come. So who can understand them? Only the persons who have the same experience can understand. A person who is very fast in speaking, very quick in reacting without even thinking. His feelings, who can understand? Only Peter can understand. Oh, how do they think? How do they react? Oh, then how to control them? How to mold them? How to bring them out of sin? Who can understand? Only Peter can understand. Now doubt. You see, in thousand years, many people will be having doubt. Who will be guiding them? Thomas. Because Thomas knows uh, how to tackle doubt, how to overcome doubt. You see, can everybody speak to a person who is having doubt? No. Well, not everybody are good convincers. Uh, but there are some brethren who are good convincers. Because they are the ones who are able to understand them. This is what is going to happen in Christ's kingdom, dear brethren. You see, who is the most loving of all the disciples of Jesus? Most loving of all the twelve apostles. Tell me, who is the... Uh, tell me about that. Jesus loved him very much. He told all the secret things to him. The Bible mentions his name very frequently. It, it tells that uh, he is the loved disciple of Jesus. I will give you a clue. Peter. Huh? Peter? Okay, I'll give you a clue. He has written uh, five books in the Bible. He mentions about love very much because he was a loving ap apostle to Jesus. You're very near. Oh. Huh? <laughs> No, he was with Jesus. When he was alive, he oh. was with Jesus. Huh? Uh, correct. Tell me, brother. Brother told something. Okay, I'll give you one more clue. <coughs> you, uh, uh, brother, tell me. You told me. Uh, okay, okay no, I'll give you a clue. Stay tuned. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> he was near the cross when Jesus died. John. Very good. You see, he was a loving apostle of Jesus. You see, therefore, Jesus' uh, feelings he understood. 
see the writings of apostle john in gospel of john it is different from all the books it doesn't go into other details and all it just speaks about the father 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 maximum time the word father comes only in gospel of john not in other of the you see gospels there only god god is mentioned but here in father 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 love love you see in first john second john third john what is mentioned only love because he was the loving apostle of jesus see that was his highlighting character so imagine the people in the thousand years who who need love so who can tackle them apostle john similarly among the 144000 the people will be having such type of characters they will come under this group they will be able to pick up the world from sin sickness and bring them back to perfection read one verse in uh, <coughs> mika 44 mika book of book of mika fourth chapter verse 4 mm. Book of Mika, four four. You mean Mark? Uh, no, no, Mika. What Mika, is Mika. Mika, 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 Mika. Oh, sorry, Mika. Mika. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. But they shall sit. every man under his vine mm. and under his fig tree uh. and none shall make them afraid see, for the most of the lord of hosts had spoken it very good see this is speaking about the thousand years you see what does it say every man that is speaking about then it is speaking about the world of mankind every man shall sit under his own vine and under his own fig now who is vine in the bible who is the vine who is the true vine christ ha huh? who is the true vine jesus jesus very good now yes now we are the branches correct branches yes so that means jesus and the church every man shall come under his own church own group of that lakh and 44000 one group of 144000 the characters uh, will come in a group uh, under the own fig means what uh? now what is the meaning of uh, uh, fig tree which nation do we compare the fig of fig tree fig tree means which nation israel very good brother israel now who comes under israel the ancient world is ancient world is also they will be having such type of character so each and every man can will be under apostle under you see that uh, uh, what do you say the 144000 under them comes the ancient vadi under them comes the world of man and this is the god's hierarchy this is god's plan to lift up the world of mankind okay so hence uh, we see that speaking about the spiritual little israel this is not speaking about a natural israel at all okay we will end our study here Uh, any doubts any questions brother anybody any questions any doubts it's clear brother clear 